Lord, I ask for you to come into the homes that are listening to this video. I ask that you give their spirit strength to hear this message as you intend them to hear it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Lately I feel like I'm spiraling downward. But I'm still getting through each day with joy. And I guess I keep wondering what my future holds. And I pray every day that I will listen and do what it is that God wants me to do. I know it's hard for people to understand and it's hard for them to even try and comprehend what's happened to me. My entire family including myself died on August 30th at 9 o'clock in my last moments of desperation. I sent 911 to my sister at 8.30 and it was after that message that I gave up. And though I was in the raging waters, scared, helpless, alone. As the currents pulled at my legs from five different directions and the water crashed around me. I surrendered. I gave up. I told God to take me. I was ready. I knew my family was going to be okay. I had peace. I was calm.
and there was light. I know in time, the Lord will reveal to me things as he so chooses, and I have patience with him. But I sit here at night wondering, what is it that I need to do to bring people to our Savior, to our Creator, because that's all they want. They want all of us in their kingdom. We're their sisters, we're their brothers, we're their children. I don't go through one day thinking about Jesus. I have people ask me questions about my kids and they'll always be a part of me. But I'd rather talk about Jesus. But that gives me peace gives me joy. I know that they're with him. And one day I'll get to be there. But right now I have to lead. I need to teach. I need to show people the light of the Lord. So what is it going to take? Is it going to take handing you a Bible? Is it going to take reading you a story? Scratch that. It's not a story. It's history. the living, breathing word of the Lord. Living, breathing. The Holy Spirit speaks to us through his word. You could read it you could read a scripture 50 times in a day and it's going to it's going to reveal something different every day because it's living and it's breathing and it's speaking to us as we need to be spoken to because our God is such a gentleman and he longs for us he cares for us he loves us His love is so unimaginable to what we know love as. Some days I beat myself up because I'm not in his word. But he's always with always I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him I have so much gratitude I have so many things to be grateful for Everyone does. This 
sometimes it may feel like we're stuck or that things just couldn't get any worse. But we need to trust in Jesus. We need to surrender. We need to ask for guidance and he'll provide. He always does. It may not be what you want. He is just so miraculous. I can go back all the way from times I was a child or times in high school. And at that time, it's just life, right? But if you really think about it, it was his plan for us. I've gone through a lot of things in my life. But it was his plan, it was his will. And I wouldn't change any of it for the world. Does it suck? Yeah, it does. That pain and hurt will always be there. But tomorrow is never promised. So be grateful for today. I am okay. I will continue to be okay. I've always got the Lord at my side. Always. Always. He's always close to the brokenhearted. He's always with us. And that alone gets me through every day, knowing knowing that I'm never alone. To the outside it may seem like I'm alone, but I'm not. I'm not alone, and I know that. I'm grateful for that. It brings me joy, it brings me peace. here for a reason. Spread the light of the Lord. So what's it going to take? How am I going to convince you? that there is great power in his word promises his love is beyond any earthly feeling and it's so easy to get there And though I may seem broken, I still want to help you get there. Just remember the Lord is always with you.